such a pleasant day today. You know, I know we're here, you know, with the quarantine, you know, the stay-at-home orders and everything, but it's just, it's really pleasant. Just a pleasant day. Yeah, well, I was just thinking that um, we're not necessarily going to have access to the dentist for a while. Yeah. Well, we have dental supplies in our preps. We're going to crack those out. Uh, yeah, okay. Welcome to the world of amateur dentistry! Everybody, this is Praxis and in this video we're talking about dentistry that you can do at home. But before we jump into it, I just want to question your judgment that you're even here. You saw that opening and you're thinking to yourself, wow, that's a guy that I really want to listen more to. <laughs> uh, you know, to each their own, but you're here and we are going to talk about what type of dentistry you can do at home to try to help yourself during this time where people are staying at home, not necessarily going to the dentist's office. I know that uh, my boy's dentist office is closed right now. He had an appointment that was Right around when the beginning of the coronavirus outbreak started, I called and canceled that appointment about two weeks prior to that. And it was back during the time when it was still kind of crazy to think that the coronavirus was going to get out. So I didn't tell him why I was canceling it, but I canceled it. And two days after what would have been his appointment, that dentist's office closed down. And a lot of people are in that similar situation, but you still want to take care of your teeth. After all this is over, you don't want to go back to the dentist and have a ton of cavities in your mouth. So what are some things that you can do at home to try to reduce that risk for yourself? Obviously, there's brushing and there's flossing and doing that multiple times a day is really good and helpful and we should all be doing that type of thing. But in addition to that, so there's other things that you can do. And I'm going to be listing a few of the things that we do here. Now, that doesn't mean that these are the only things you can do. I've been running this channel long enough to know that, especially with something like this, it's health related. If I don't list every every single person's favorite sort of thing they do for their their uh, you know dental health, uh, I'm going to get angry comments below of people saying it's like, you shouldn't do any of those. You should only do what I do. And yeah, I'm not criticizing your way of doing things. I'm just sharing with you some things that I do. If you want to leave the angry comment below, that's fine. It actually helps the channel. The more comments, it doesn't matter what they are. Uh, you know, feel free to do that, but I'm not criticizing your approach. I'm just sharing some of my approaches with you guys, and I hope you find it helpful. Uh, the first one, like I said, was brushing and flossing and things like that. If you're into prepping and preparedness, you might be into the idea of having multiple toothbrushes, just in case. These are a bunch of our toothbrushes. If you buy a lot of toothbrushes, you can get them at bulk prices. I'd recommend taking them out of the packaging because the packaging takes up a lot of space. This is a whole bunch of uh, toothbrushes that are put into you know a reasonably small bag. If they had all the packaging on them, they, you couldn't fit nearly as many in such small a space. Toothpaste is another thing that I uh, buy ahead of time. I don't find that toothpaste ever really goes bad. I've got a lot of it here and I've never pulled out a tube. I don't really at this point know how old they are several years old and I've never opened one up and like, ah, oh, it's gone, it's gone rancid. I've, maybe that will happen, but they, they have at least several years in them. So that's another thing that you can bulk buy. Uh, one nice way of doing toothbrushes is this kind of thing. And this isn't like, you wouldn't like go right into your teeth with this. This goes into a clip-in handle. Uh, but the, these are a type of toothbrush. Uh, again, uh, links to all the products I'm talking about today are down in the description below if you're interested in any of these. Uh, this is a type of toothbrush that clips into a handle. It's a way of like having like less waste, you know, less trash going into the landfill. So you're only replacing the tips. But the nice thing about uh, prepping these is that you can fit an awful lot of these. In fact, there's twice as many toothbrushes in here as there are in this package. And this one's much smaller because you're just storing the tips. So that's something that we do for kind of bulk buying toothbrushes. In addition to that, there are things like chewing gum, like chewing gum that's sugar-free. This one uses xylitol. I'm not a big fan of aspartame. I think the science is still out on the safety of aspartame. In fact, I think the science is in and it's not safe, but uh, you know, let's uh, you know, be positive here. You know, Maybe the science isn't totally in. Anyway, it's something I avoid. I do uh, go with uh, xylitol gum though, and there are lots of different xylitol gums. This is a chocolate mint one. There are plenty of other ones. And they're uh, using the mechanical action of the chewing to kind of clean out certain areas of your teeth. Now, it's not gonna get between your teeth uh, very well, but, you know, is one extra uh, item in your arsenal to try to be cleaning out your mouth as much as you can. It's a helpful one. Uh, one that is a really cool one, this is a recent thing that I got, and I really, really like it, is a small dental kit. I just bought this actually for my 
for my boy because he had had some discolored sort of scaling on his teeth. You know, we brushed and brushed, but every time we went to the dentist, he always had like a little bit of discolored scaling. And I asked them, well, is this something I could do at home? Like, is there a tool I could use that would like help with this? Because we're not seeming like we're effective with just the toothbrushes. And they suggested that I could get a set like this and it has what's called a scaler. And uh, this is like, like the little dental pick, but it's got like a flat surface on it. And you run it gently, with emphasis on gently, gently along the teeth uh, to just get that kind of surface coating off. This works really well. It got his teeth uh, you know, all nice and white again. Uh, and uh, I've actually started using it on myself. Like after I floss and brush and use uh, dental rinse and everything, I'm still finding that if I go in with this later, yeah, there is, there is some stuff that's still left after afterwards. So I've found these really useful. Again, I want to emphasize it. You don't want to be using these every single day. It's metal on your teeth and you want to be very, very gentle if you use it. But I really like uh, this set. I, I, bought this recently and uh, it comes with a little instruction manual uh, and I, I feel like this allows me to uh, take a lot of care of my teeth that I couldn't without it. The last thing I wanted to talk about, and this is a little bit weird, but uh, this is a book that I've got, Where There Is No Dentist. This is kind of like emergency third world kind of situation. You're like trapped on a desert island and you wish you had some of the knowledge of our species related to dentistry. This book is full of all sort of <laughs> kind of disturbing images, <laughs> um, but good information on, uh, this is about, uh, you know, different types of herbs and things like that that are, uh, you know, uh, preventative for, for cavities and also like things that, you know, you don't want to have in your mouth, uh, you know, uh, that, that might promote uh, cavities. And uh, it, it's kind of a helpful book. It's kind of a companion book to this, uh, Where There Is No Doctor, which is kind of the same, but for, you know, medicine and everything like that. So these are some things that we find kind of helpful you, uh, here. And, uh, you know, I hope that uh, some of this is informational to you. I, I can't highly re enough recommend this particular item. I really have loved this. It just, it feels really nice to like, you, you clean out your whole mouth, you think, oh, I'm done. And then there's like extra, and like, wow, now I'm done. <laughs> So that's it. Uh, if you are interested in any of these things, I put links down in the description below if you wanted to you know, jump to any of this stuff. I don't think that there's runs on toothbrushes and dental kits at the moment, so now would be the time to get that stuff before everyone else realizes that like, oh wow, I'm not gonna be able to go to the dentist for a while because when we all do go back to the dentist, hopefully we don't all don't have mouths full of cavities. That's it, thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.